Hey there, it's Chris Duncan again, and it's now chapter number two on how you could become a highly paid international speaker. As you know, the last two weeks, I had did a presentation in Singapore to over 130 people, uh, flew over to Australia, Perth, another presentation, New Zealand, and now here I am in LA. In fact, uh, behind me is uh, Malibu, and uh, we're just up here having a, a great walk, and I just thought I would share the video from you. And today I wanna talk to you about how uh, you can actually get your first talk going, uh, what your title needs to be so people show up. So here's what you gotta understand is your clients, the people that you wanna serve, they have a problem that they wanna have solved. And that problem can be solved by an education. And so that's a promise that you've gotta have for your talk. Your talk has gotta give them value. It's very important that they know they're gonna get something out of it. Now remember, you can do a few different types of talks. Number one, you can do a video like this right here. Number two, your presentation can be a webinar, an online training, or number three, it can be a live in-person event. Now in the next few videos, I'm gonna share exactly what to have in that presentation. Remember, those of you who are coming to the training in Bali in January, four days and four nights, we're actually going to craft you your presentation. So how do you get people to show up? Well, you've got to have a very captivating title that promises to solve their problem with information. Now, there's three levels of value that you can give somebody. The first is insight, the second is information, and then the third one is implementation. Implementation means you do something for them, you give them the product or you actually help them to solve the problem. The information is you give them all the information to solve it themselves and insight you help them to see your problem. So the insight and information is exactly what you can give in a talk. So let me tell you how this is going to work is you need to think to yourself, what is a big problem that my target avatar, my demographic, my audience, my perfect client has? And what sort of talk would they like to put on? It doesn't matter if you're in the automobile industry, if you're in the solar panel or water field industry, I've been able to put on presentations to, to basically have people turning up highly qualified that want the solution. That's the big key. So if you wanna go into the play at the level of insight, now insight's normally done for free. Insight, normally you're sharing someone the problem and the solution. So a great title would be the seven mistakes you're making in X and three things to do to solve it. For example, if you're in the automobile industry, you might create a little presentation which is the seven big mistakes you're making when buying a used car and the three things you must know in buying a car. I did this in the solar panel industry, worked fantastically, absolutely magic. We showed people the exact seven and three structure, the seven things that you must know in order to purchase good solar and the three big mistakes people are making in your area. People turned up and they flocked to that presentation. Now, if you wanna do information, you might do something like this, how to X in Y without Z. And that's a really, really good title of your talk or your presentation or your video. And so all you need to do is ask yourself how to do X in a certain time period as Y without having to give up something. So a really good talk that you could have or put on would be uh, you know, how to lose weight in 30 days without changing your diet. I don't even know if that's possible, but you can see that that'd be a good talk that people are gonna wanna turn up to. So those are two ways to structure your titles and your presentation that people wanna show up. The big takeaway is this is that people want to turn up to a presentation that's going to solve a big problem for them. So you must give them that promise and then add that value. I'm going to show you then how to actually give the value and still have people want to purchase and buy your product at the end, which is super important. So make sure you check out chapter three. I would love you to post below what your talk's going to be about and how it's going to change your business. Now just imagine, you have people showing up and they want to how to X in Y without Z or they want to learn the seven mistakes or the seven ways and then the three things to do. Just notice how qualified they are if they turn up. It's fantastic. And I'm going to give you some numbers and how it works in an upcoming video. So I hope that you've really taken a lot out of this. The next video is going to be fantastic as well. So make sure you look out for that. Post below what your talk's going to be. Subscribe to my channel. And if you really want to be a high uh, profitable present presentations and have be a presenter from different stages around the world, then make sure you watch out for my email about the upcoming four days in Bali. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Live with total freedom, free your mind, free your time, free your life, and I'll talk to you soon.